This is a video from Devil's Effecta and today I'm going to talk about Italian football. In one of the most shocking moves of the transfer window, Leonardo Bonucci, the 30-year-old Juventus defender, has joined AC Milan for a fee of 35 million pounds. Now, considering that Manchester Manchester City bought Kyle Walker for an astonishing 54 million, Bonucci seems to be a steal. After completing his move to AC Milan, Bonucci will become only the 11th player in the history of Italian football to represent Inter Milan, AC Milan and Juventus. So who are the other 10 that represented the three clubs before Bonucci? Let's find out. Now the first ever player to represent all the three clubs was Luigi Savinini. The Milan-born forward joined AC Milan in 1911 and stayed for a season before joining Inter in 1912. Now he stayed at Inter for four seasons before rejoining AC Milan for another four years. He stayed on at AC Milan till 1919 and then since switched back to Inter for another two years before he joined Novisi. Now he had a third spell at Inter Milan when he joined them in 1922 and stayed on till 1927 before he joined Juventus. Savinini won the league title with Inter Milan in 1919 and followed it up with another one with Novisi in the next year. Now he also represented Italy 29 times in his extremely long career. Now after retirement he went into management but did not have a very successful coaching career. The second player on the list is one of the most successful Italian players of all time, Giuseppe Miazza. Now Miazza won two consecutive World Cups in 1934 and 1938 where he captained the side. He began his career at Inter Milan in 1927 and stayed on for a very successful 13 year spell at the club. During his time at the club, he scored more than 200 goals and won three league titles along with the Coppa Italia. He moved on to AC Milan in 1940 while whereas after a couple of years he moved on to Juventus in 1942. He ended his career at Inter Milan and retired in 1947. Miazza is considered to be one of the greatest ever players to have graced the game. Now San Siro, the club that the stadium that is shared by the Milan clubs has been officially named Stadio Giuseppe Miazza in his honor. The third player on the list is Enrico Candiani. Now he started his career at Inter Milan in 1937 and was part of the same team as Miazza which won the league title in 1940. He joined Juventus from Inter Milan in 1946 but stayed there for only a year. He after a couple of years at Pro Patria he joined AC Milan in 1949 but again stayed there for only a single season. Now he retired in 1952 with his last cup being Foggia. The player died recently in 2008 after a long illness. Number 4 on the list and the first one to be still alive is Aldo Serena. Now he had four spells at Inter Milan with the last one ending in 1991 his most successful at the club. He joined Inter Milan in 1978, AC Milan in 1982 and Juventus in 1985. Now in his time at the clubs he won four league titles, two with AC Milan and a single piece with Inter Milan and Juventus. He also represented Italy 23 times including the 1990 World Cup and currently works as a media presenter for a sports broadcaster in Italy. Number 5 on the list is another Italian legend in Roberto Baggio. Now he is the only player Italian player to score in three different World Cups and has won league titles with Juventus and AC Milan. The striker's time at Inter Milan wasn't very successful and in the two seasons that he spent at Inter Milan he scored a grand total of 9 goals for the club. Now he joined Juventus from Fiorentina in 1990, AC Milan in 95 and after a brief spell at Bologna he joined Inter in 98. Now his time with the international team was generally good as he represented Italy in three World Cups but the 1994 World Cup was an historic time for the striker. Now it Italy reached the finals but lost on penalty shootout with Baggio missing the deciding penalty. Number 6 on the list and the first non-Italian is Dutch legend Edgar Davids. The Surinamese born Dutch midfielder started his career at Ajax and joined AC Milan in 1996. 
But after an unsuccessful year at the club, he joined Juventus in 97, where he won three league titles. Now, after this, he had a loan stint with Barcelona before joining Inter Milan permanently in 2004. but his 3 year deal was terminated by the club after one year with mutual consent the player ended up his career in in england with barnet now number 7 on the list is another italian legend in christian vieri now vieri is the joint highest italian scorer at the world cups along with paolo rossi and roberto baggio Now, despite having a very successful individual career at Inter Milan, uh, Vieri's only league title came with Juventus in the 96-97 season. Vieri joined Juventus in 1996 and stayed on till 1999 when he joined Inter Milan and stayed on for a successful career till 2005. After this time, he joined AC Milan in a in a stunt unsuccessful stint with the Rossoneri. Number 8 on the list is French World Cup winner Patrick Vieira. The Senegalese born midfielder had joined AC Milan and Juventus in 1995 and 2005 respectively but stayed at the club for only a single year. His time at Inter Milan was much more successful as he won four league titles in the four years that he stayed at the club. Now he also won the league title with Juventus in 2005 and 6 but was stripped of the medal due to Juventus' involvement in the fixing scandal. The Frenchman won the World Cup in 1998, the Euros in 2000 as well as the Confederations Cup in 2001 in what was an extremely successful period for him and his country France. Number 9 on the list is Swedish enigma Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The Swedish all-time top scorer joined Italy in 2004 with Juventus but later joined Inter Milan in 2006 and won three league titles with the club before heading out for Barcelona. He returned to Italy with AC Milan in 2010 initially on a loan but then made his move permanent very soon. The number 10 on the list is another Italian legend and World Cup winner in Andrea Pirlo. The man who won the World Cup in 2006 joined Inter Milan in 1998 but did not actually prosper at the club. He joined AC Milan in 2001 and won two league titles along with two Champions League titles in a host of other trophies. Now he joined the Juventus in 2011 and won another four league titles in an extremely illustrious career. And with this we come to the end of the list of the players that have represented the three giants of Italian football. Now Leonardo Bonucci becomes the 11th player on this illustrious list and with six league titles of his own he has no shortage of excellence among the list. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video please press the button on the left and if you are new to the channel please press the subscribe button on the right to get regular updates from this channel. This is a venue signing off. See you soon.